So, considering I ballsed up my scheduled weekly upload this week by uploading this week's Friday 4pm video two days early, and with this one being planned for next week, I thought I'd change my plans and share this video in place of my regularly scheduled video which went live two days ago. Now this video is a channel update video. Recently, at the beginning of August, we're in September now, I reached 5,000 subscribers. And by the end of August, so in just under four weeks, I passed 6,000 subscribers. The fact that so many of you choose to spend your time watching and listening to me blows my mind. So the first point on my list in this video is to thank each and every one of you that subscribes to my channel and watches my videos. So thank you very much. Your subscription and support really helps. Now for any OGs out there that have been watching my videos from the very beginning, you will know that I make these videos and upload them to my channel for multiple different reasons. I enjoy talking to camera like this. I also enjoy vlogging. When I'm in the midst of a suffer fest. <laughs> oh my God, this is bullshit. Oh man, if I'd have got my tactics better, Anyway, here we go. As I find it a welcome distraction to all the pain and I find it cathartic to talk about how I'm feeling in the moment, even though 90% of that random mind dump doesn't make it to the finished edited video. But mainly I make these videos as a journal of my progress cleverly packaged up into shortish, shortish, entertaining watchable snippets of time that give viewers an insight into my attempts at becoming better at fitness in general. So basically being a better runner, cyclists, being a better cyclist is something I thought I'd never say. Ah, new FTP. As a new FTP. An overall faster, lighter and stronger person, physically and mentally. The other main reason I make these videos is to inspire. I have zero interest in influencing or even directly instructing anyone on how to do anything fitness related, mainly because I'm still learning myself and I certainly don't want to attempt to tell anyone that what it is I'm doing is the right way and what they're doing is the wrong way, mainly because if you're doing anything physical that lasts longer than your norm and builds up a sweat, then you're already doing more than the majority and that's pretty awesome. When I started out on this journey, every time I say journey, I feel like I'm an X Factor contestant reading for a cliche acceptance speech, but this YouTube journey started five years ago now when I used to watch loads of fitness YouTubers in the hope of finding inspiration and in the vain hope of getting ideas on how to lose weight and get fit for the very first time in my life. I didn't have much luck as most channels focused on technique, technical language and felt very elitist. So I made the decision if I couldn't join them then I'd beat them. At the very least, I hoped my videos would fill a small void in some random corner of the internet. That was the aim. It took me four years to reach 1,000 subscribers from that first fitness video upload. Please don't go and watch it, it's very, very embarrassing. So in May of last year, so just over a year ago now as I make this video, I decided to ramp up my YouTube game and start a new weekly upload schedule where I committed just to myself to upload at least one inspirational fitness related video every single week, Fridays at 4pm. Doing that has helped me grow my audience and reach over 6,500 subscribers. Now I know that's not a really, really big number. When I look at other content creators on YouTube that make fitness related content relatively similar to mine, there's no point comparing myself to Mr. Beast or Casey Neistat because they don't make videos like I do. But when I look at fitness content creators that have millions and millions of subscribers, I find that very humbling but also very inspirational as they're creating videos in the same genre I am. And it also makes me realize that I still have a long way to go, but I'm very jubilant about my progress, especially over these past few weeks. It motivates me a lot and it's one of the reasons I keep going. So I'm making this video now to say a big thank you to those of you that have supported me with a subscribe, a watch, a like, or a comment on any of my videos. If that's you, then I really appreciate you. Please also know that you have helped my channel grow and you have directly motivated me to get out there and explore more of what my newfound fitness freedom affords me. 
Now, having said all of that, I'm now going to say this next bit out loud and public, something which I didn't think I'd do. I learned a trick back in 2021 when I was training for my first ever running marathon, a tactic that worked for me. If I want to ensure accountability and ensure I manifest an outcome that I want to achieve, then I need to put it out there into the void or the internet as an IRL target for me to aim for. Four years ago, that was my mum, my kids and my missus, as they were pretty much the only ones that watched any of my videos and they still didn't watch all of them. They were more than enough to keep me honest and on track with my marathon training. Now I have six and a half thousand of you to share this with, with more subscribing in the future I hope, as well as my mum, kids and missus. And in return I'll consistently attempt to motivate, inspire and entertain you for many, many more years to come or until old age kicks in with extreme rheumatoid arthritis from all the years of abuse my body would have gone through by then. <laughs> so with that context, here is my manifestation statement. I love YouTube. It's such an accessible site and I don't think there is any better way of sharing a story than through video format. So having said that, my aim for the rest of this year and into 2025 is to make YouTube and specifically being a fitness YouTuber my full-time job. Now I already invest well over 30 hours into YouTube on a weekly basis through editing, script writing, editing, research, editing and then on top of that more editing this doesn't include the time it takes to complete the fitness events that you see in my videos which i enter and then also the filming of them i'm a one-man film crew and editing team all rolled into one i'm like bert from the opening scenes of mary poppins where he's a one-man band <laughs> and i wouldn't have it any other way but it's a very time consuming hobby at the moment as my family regularly reminds me. So to achieve this lofty harebrained goal of being a full-time fitness YouTuber and I am very aware of how crazy this target sounds, it ultimately means that I have to make a living from YouTube without having to source financial stability elsewhere. As much as I love YouTube for its how-to videos and entertainment, it's not the most cost-effective way of making a living. In fact, it's really bad for making a living. So for that reason, and also the fact that I don't want to flood my videos with adverts and sponsorship deals, I've decided to start my own Patreon channel. My Patreon page has been live now for several months as a soft launch, and I've mentioned it in a few previous videos, to ensure it works and to give those that have chosen to support me already value and something in return. I do not expect anyone to give me money for zero in return. My Patreon page is for those of you that would like to support me with a small monthly fee, and in return, I will ensure that my Patreon adds value to you and continues to inspire and entertain you. Just to be completely clear here, I will continue to upload my weekly videos every Friday at 4pm to my main YouTube channel. That won't change. My main videos will always remain free to watch for anyone and everyone. I've also fairly recently started a series of podcast episodes cleverly titled Ryan Condon Unscripted. Took me ages to come up with that name. To be fair, I initially called it the Sit Rep Podcast, but I struggled to say Sit Rep over and over in an episode and it turned into shit rep. <laughs> so I decided to change it to Ryan Condon Unscripted. I've also called it Unscripted because the content of my podcast includes all the things I don't get to make videos about and they're things that I have a passion for. Now Patreon members will get exclusive access to my personal podcast series an entire season early when it will then be uploaded to my new second channel, again cleverly titled Ryan Condon Unscripted. The link for this channel will be in the description and it's completely free of charge. In my new podcast episodes, I'll be talking about fitness related subjects that are close to my heart, such as weight loss and healthy eating, as well as subjects like the Tour de France, running ridiculously long ultra marathons, SAS military style selection tests, and of course, Zwift. How could I not talk at length about Zwift, my love affair with Zwift? So to be completely clear and transparent about the future of this channel, my main Ryan Condon channel will continue to be my number one priority with weekly Friday 4pm uploads as long as I don't click the wrong date like I did with this week's video. If you want to support me with a small monthly fee and gain access to my YouTube videos early, ad-free, as well as my new weekly podcast a whole season early, then please check out my Patreon page 
page. You can have a seven day free trial too to ensure you like what I'm selling. Season two just started last week and it's also got season one on there as well. And I'm getting better at this podcasting stuff with every single episode. Every day is a school day. Okay guys, hi and welcome to, what are you laughing at? That's my intro, you just started laughing. <laughs> I right. wasn't laughing, I was trying to just smile and not look miserable. <laughs> Okay, I just heard a big guffaw into the mic. <laughs> right, let me try that again. Right, well, you ready? I am laughing. Right, cut, cut. And then finally, just to conclude this video, please head over to my new second channel, Ryan Condon Unscripted. Subscribe for free and listen to my new season one podcast episodes. Season one, episode one went up this week and I'll be uploading a new episode every week moving forward. Season one is audio only at the moment. I want to say that I was aiming for the old school podcasting experience, but in reality, I was on a steep learning curve and also finding a good way to video it as well as create the podcast was a step too far 12 weeks ago when I started. However, season two is audio and video for those of you that enjoy seeing my face. So please check out my podcast channel, the Ryan Condon Unscripted channel. Link is in the description along with my Patreon page. My aim was to make these podcast episodes fun and easy to listen to on the commute to work whilst exercising in the gym or on those long solo rides up out to Zwift. Go give it some love, leave me feedback and let me know what subjects you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thank you for watching and listening to me. Thank you for your continued support. And here is to many, many more years of inspirational entertaining fitness videos and ridiculously hard challenge videos please share like and subscribe if you haven't done so already see you in next week's video cheers guys free